Hey, how are you? My name is Emilio. Thank you so much for joining me on this video today. We're gonna to show you how to get your camera photos, your videos off your digital camera onto an iPhone. Uh, it's super easy to do. All you need is really one simple accessory, but the actual feature within your iPhone is already there so that you can do this very, very easily. But before we do get into that, please subscribe to my channel and click on that bell so that you don't miss out on anything. All right, so for this video, we're gonna need three things. You're gonna need your camera with an SD card within it. You're gonna need your phone, an iPhone. I've got an iPhone 12, I think it is. Um, but if you're running just an earlier version or even a newer version of the iPhone, that's fine. The process will be the same. And then you need one of these things, which is the adapter that you need to purchase to be able to make all of this magic work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your digital camera. You've just taken a whole bunch of photos, even videos on your digital camera, and we're gonna take out the SD card. All right, so we're gonna slot that out. Here is my SD card. This is a 64 gig SD. Now, if you do have a digital camera that has a smaller form factor SD card, perhaps one of the micro SDs, that is fine. You can actually do the trick just the same. You're just gonna need one extra accessory, which is this thing right here. And this essentially converts your micro SD that you slot into the top into a larger SD, and then you can use that instead of a larger SD. It's very, very easy. Now, if you are interested, you can pick this adapter up uh, from the Amazon store. Uh, look in my description down the bottom. I've got links directly to pick up one of these with a lightning port on the bottom, which is then plugged in to your iPhone. And if you do have a micro SD, perhaps you're running a GoPro or something like that, you can actually pick up one of these. They're only like a couple of dollars. They're super, super cheap. And you can pick that on Amazon as well. Check my description link just below. So then all you do is you grab your SD card right in here, making sure that it all lines up. You'll see that on the very bottom of this adapter, you've got a little icon right there that shows you the, the position, the actual direction of the SD card. You just slot it into place like so. And then the other end, doesn't matter which way it goes, and then that runs right into the bottom of your iPhone. You've got a lightning port on the bottom of your iPhone. You just plug that right into there. So there are two things that may happen here. One, your Photos app may open up automatically, prompting you to now go and import some photos. Now, if it didn't do that automatically, that's fine. It's plugged in, the cable is plugged in, the SD card is plugged into that adapter, that cable. You now open up the Photos app. Within the Photos app, You've got your standard buttons down the very bottom, the little icons that say library, for you, albums, and search. And now you've got a brand new one that has just shown up called import. That's good. That means that it's detected your SD card and it's now ready for you to import. So we can click on import right there. And here you are. Here are the photos that have just been identified and found on my SD card. I've only got a few, but now you can see them. You can see the actual date when they were taken and you can select each one individually or you can click on import all. I like to do import all because that way I can get them all right off the one shot. Now importing and those photos have now been imported. And you'll see that it now says import complete and it gives me a couple of options. Do I want to keep those photos? Now what that means is keep the photos on the actual SD card itself or do you want to delete the photos off the SD card? If you don't want them on your SD card, you can delete them because they're now on your iPhone or you can keep, of course, two different versions. In our case, I've uploaded them and they're now on my phone so I don't need them anymore. So I'm gonna say delete. That will then delete those photos off the SD card. Your SD card is now empty. You can then go and take your SD card out and then plug it back into your camera and then continue to use it. So simple steps, go give it a shot. As I said, in the description, I've got a direct link to this adapter that you can pick up from Amazon, as well as the adapter if you so need to convert it from a micro SD to a larger SD. It works great and I've used it many, many times for many, many events that I've been to, even when I've been on holidays, before the craziness of COVID. Uh, but that's it. Thank you so much for spending the time. Do what you need to do by commenting, liking, and also subscribe, clicking on that bell and on the button so that you keep up to date with everything that's going on. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.